My name is Mark, welcome back to the shop, and today we are going to be doing Conrod side clearance. So what the fucking hell is this? Um, your Conrod needs to be able to move that way, backwards and forwards, basically due to thermal expansion. If this was a tight fit in here, uh, this way, then when it thermally expands slightly, it would jam and seize, and these two surfaces would just fucking eat each other for lunch. Now there was a guy who sent me a video who has an SV who said when I do this at the top of the rod it's a lot more than the service requi you know the service limit requirement and I said dude you're on the end of a beam pulling out here so any deviation here is going to be magnified by at the end of this beam arm here so you you need to literally get in there um so the limit here is 36 microns to 66 microns holy shit <laughs> and the service limit is a hundred microns so the first thing I do straight away is you get out your hundred micron blade which is that one stick it in there does it fit yeah well she's done <laughs> that's it uh, you know what I mean that is meant to be the end clearance in there and we pulled the rod this way so as far as we can go this way that gap in there is well that's bigger than 100 micron the service limit says 100 microns yeah so the standard is 36 to 66 this is 100 and that's it's like a fucking dick in a bucket that isn't it that's uh yeah massive so how big is it let's find out let's go 150 150 Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this isn't looking good. 200. Oh, there's quite a lot of drag in there. 200. And the 250. No, we're not, it'll nip it, but we're not getting in there. It's basically just as it turns in, it's just nipping it a slight bit. Let's check the other ones. So what was the limit? The limit was 100 microns. So we'll just go along with the 100 micron one. And thrust the rod to that side. Yeah. Cock in a hallway. Ooh. That fits, but it's a bit tighter. Yeah, and that fits. That fits in there. So we were going for 200 microns. Let's just see if the 200 micron microns fits in all of them. We know it fits in this first one. Um, let's just see if it fits in the rest of them. That's a bit of a squeeze, but it will fit. That will fit, but it is a squeeze. That fits as well. But it is a tight fit. This one seems to be the worst one, because that... Eh, actually... That will fit in there. That will fit in there. That will... Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that easily fits in there. So all these rods are pretty much the same, which is a good thing. These are out of the service limit. Will this kill your engine? No, what it means is is that it's on the way to wearing really quickly because now there's a gap in there. So when this thing starts to move, yeah, you know, it's not the end of the world. But it's what you'd expect out of 100,000 miles. And uh, it would be interesting. Well, we'll crack off the... Um, bolts and check what's going on are these rods stamped h h that's the same side not the same rods so i'm gonna have to engrave these rods just to say that this rod oh, i don't have to do that do i, I can just take them off one at a time um but it's not a bad idea to do that but yeah so it's kind of looking like um this is because that's quite a lot of end play out of spec, if you get what I mean. You could run this engine with these kind of clearances for a long time. It's not like it's going to kill it. That is just for best performance, trying to keep the rod straight. What happens is, is that because this rod can now rock, and I can't wait to see the SV ones because I bet they're like fucking all over the place. But because these can rock now, that's what it does in operation. You know what I mean? It can rock, and the more it does that, the the more it rocks, and the more strain it puts on your wrist pin and stuff like that, and eventually things will just start to tear themselves to pieces. 
but that is you know that's pretty good um, a good example I mean sorry these are out of spec and you know how do you sort this out if you've got this issue you don't it's a new crank and rods because your rods will have worn your crank will have worn you cannot put that material back on you know you don't shim these or anything crazy like that that is just the way it is these are wobbly rods <laughs> and you know there's nothing nothing i can really feel there so i bet the oil clearances are quite tight but um yeah so next one is we'll crack the rods off and uh, pair them up we'll need to look at the uh small ends because they've got wear on them we need to look at the uh basically the uh, big end bearings have a look at them we need to measure the big end the crank pins and then clean it all up and then we'll basically start doing oil clearances now we're not we're going to do the oil clearances on these bearings just to show you how it's done and stuff like that and then when we get around to putting this thing back together we will i'll probably buy some new bearings and i'll show you how to do them as well and how to use the tables and stuff like that and how to find out what oil clearances you need require blah 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 you never know these might be so out of fucking spec that um you can't you just can't but i'll still put it back together regardless hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit